Hi guys, I wanted to make a quick vlog um, talking about my derpy, derpy hooves cosplay um, that I've been working on. Um, I'm pretty much done. Um, all I need to do is do some seam kind of stitching, like hemming some parts of the dress and um, putting some hair clips on these so I can clip the ears on into my hair. Um, and just finding some tights and shoes, but make the stuff I'm making is pretty much almost done, and it has not taken very long, given it's a very simple costume. Um, so I finished my wings today. I'm very pleased. Um, pretty much, yeah, these straps kind of ghetto rigged, but whatever. Um, this is all nice and hot glued and I hope you can hear me I'm sitting kind of far away from the computer um just going like this um this one's a little wobbly I think it, yeah and I kind of need to get them to stay where I want them to but overall I'm very pleased with the way they came out um if I ever make more I'm gonna use a strong wire um, because there's wire running through them. I actually plan on making a quick video just kind of talking about how I made them. Because I've seen tutorials, a tutorial a girl made that was really good. She used felt though, and I kind of like, I like making things out of paper and wire. And just kind of like, the si it's going to be, you know, bigger size and also like, fabric is, or felt would be good to use. But with fabric, you can have, probably have more color choices and also you can dye white fabric, but whatever. Um, just next piece. My ears. Yes, my ears are a bit big, but I know a lot of people make them really small, but I wanted big ears because she's a cartoon pony, you know, big ears. Um, I have bobby pins on them right now, but I'm going to get some hair clips and glue them on my dress. Where's my dress? Here's my dress. This is a very simple t-shirt style dress. It's actually really short, um, but it's, it's fine. Um, this just, this part here needs to be hemmed down. See where the charcoal line is? It needs to be folded over. And the sleeves need the same thing. Um, but I'm very proud of myself. I sewed this completely by myself. My mom's gonna help me do the, I guess it's a little hemming or whatever of this part because I couldn't get it straight like it would bunch up so there's that I'm going to paint the cutie mark on on it with fabric paint um though I am trying to decide if I'm going to do a cutie mark on each hip or not um I know in the show they have them on each hip I've been practicing just painting on this fabric her cutie mark is bubbles um just using some it's cream coat cur car caram caram I don't even know. Um it's just some stuff I picked up at Ben Franklin. Um it's just like America's favorite acrylic paint. Whatever. Um it works. I'm gonna I'm testing it. The different colors like I mix it to make the color I want, but I also put the white by itself and the blue by itself just to kind of see how it's going to look when it dries so I know exactly what the color is going to be. Um, I paint it with my trusty filbert I've had forever. I love this filbert. It's the best thing ever. I paint, I can paint everything with this thing. I don't know. Um, so I got a sewing machine. Um, yeah, I will show you guys later. Um, my grandma gave me hers. Now, my grandma gave me the sewing machine, and this sewing machine was her grandmother's. So this sewing machine was my great grandmother's. It is older than sin, but it is a sewing machine. It looks cool. Um, it's being repaired right now. My grandma needed to get it fixed because it it was some. She did something I can't remember. She was like sewing denim, and she didn't use the right attach. I don't know what she was doing, but it conked out. Um, I know it's not like some severe major damage. It's just whatever. But we took it to a place, and the guy's gonna fix it. So, she also gave me some sewing stuff in the cookie tin. Um, this is a really cool pin cushion that opens up. 
I just thought it was cool looking. Um, um, so then she, this is, she made, I guess made this a long time ago, but it's kind of cool to have, like, it's just holding some needles. It's kind of cool to have these kind of things so I can be like, yeah, these were my grandma's, you know? Um, so, it's, it's nice. And then there's, this is all safety pins and pins, and this is just like a little thread and button. There's a lot of freaking needles, like, different sizes. And then there's this thing. Which is full of more needles. Um, and then there's some thread. Actually, this is mine. And then some black, white, and just different colors. And then a couple thimbles. And then this, apparently, is for threading a needle. Probably can't see it, but there's a little piece of wire you stick through. I don't know how it works exactly, but she, she, she told me. But yeah, and then a little pair of fabric scissors. And, but I'm very pleased. Um, I actually have a design for Mightyana. Cosplay. Let's see if I have it in my notebook. Hundred ponies in my notebook. I still need to drop. I still need to drop Pinkie Pie though. Yeah, my Andrew ponies. Um, where is she? Here's my, here's my derpy drawing. And the costume's actually coming out similar to it. I just need to make a tail. But here's my Mighty Anna design. Um, it's not going to be difficult. I'm pretty sure I could even make the pattern for the little capelet. Um, it's just, it's, it pretty much can be a, like a dress like I made for Derby. Just gray. And gray tights. And then some arm warmers. Maybe, maybe just above the elbow. And leg warmers. Thigh, thigh high leg warmers. And then the cape. Well, they're all going to be made of black fur, along with the tail and the ears. Um, I don't think I have any right on hand, but my bunny tail is made out of the type of fur I'm going to get. The type of fur I want is like 19 bucks a yard. Um, I'm assuming it's really, like, oh, but it's, it's going to be expensive, but awesome. So, yeah, um, I don't know how much I would need, but... This needle does not belong on the floor randomly. Um, but it's going to be expensive. Like the cotton or whatever I'll use for the rest of the costume will be easy peasy. But for real. Um, I mean I really want to make this costume. Especially now that I'm going to be having a sewing machine. I would love to get it done. Maybe not for Asen. But for uh, Anime Zing. I definitely have it done for Yaoi Con. If I do go to Yaoi Con. Hopefully I will. But, but yeah. The sewing machine is, like, super old, but hopefully it can get fixed and I'll have a sewing machine. Um, I know my friend, she told me she got a sewing machine for six bucks at Goodwill. Yeah, lucky. But, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to say. So pretty much this is a cosplay vlog. Otherwise, with me, a lot of crap's been going on. Not, not fun. Very not fun. I've been in a very bad mood lately like I've not been wanting to see people for a while so I've been feeling really crappy my phone has been off so if you know me in real life you tried to call I said on Facebook my phone is gonna be off for a while and if you really really need to get a hold of me Facebook me um but other than that if you guys friends in real life know my mom's number you can if you desperately need to get a hold of me but I haven't been being, feeling very social I know one of my friends just stopped by oh yeah Valentine's Day I forgot to mention I spent my Valentine's Day at home working on sorry I hit my yeah I'm okay at home working on cosplay while my cats hover over me and lay on my fabric so I am a nerdy cat lady and see what's even better is I was working on my little pony cosplay so I am a nerdy brony cat lady or nerdy cat lady brony so 
I don't care. I, I think Pegasister sounds weird. I like calling... I, I, I think every, everyone's a brony. Whatever. I like being... I'd, I'd rather be called a brony than a Pegasister. But... Oh, they're gonna come, I heard they're going to come out with a white Celestia. Finally. And they're going to come out with a Princess Luna or Nightmare Moon, a Trixie, a Zakora, a DJ Pond 3, and something else. Like, they posted a picture on their, um... My little pony posted a picture on their Facebook. So, I'm excited. A white Celestia. Finally. She's always, she's always been pink. I actually might buy one because I want to start collecting some of the toys. But the toys just, to me, don't do the show justice. And I think that this white Celestia that's just really nice looking. Like, her hooves are that the gold on them and stuff. It actually looks like it's going to be really nice. So hopefully all the toys start becoming a little more, like, accurate to the show. Um, and same with plushies. They've come out with, like, a Pinkie Pie and a Twilight Sparkle plushie that I've seen. And they just aren't accurate to the show. They look weird. Their manes don't make sense. Like, they're just frizzy. Meh. So, yeah. I am a nerdy cat lady brony. And, like, such a forever alone. Um, but, yeah. This is getting longer than I wanted it to do. So, I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions about my stuff that I made, let me know. Um, when Derpy's 100% done, I'll do a video about her. So, yeah. Bye, guys.